Hello everybody and welcome back to MechWarrior 5 where I want to do this Here Comes the Cavalry contract for two reasons. One, I want to find out if we're allowed to repair between these consecutive missions, that'll be important information for later. And two, it's just way higher payout than everything else, while not being quite at the same difficulty as Overrun here. So that seems relatively fine. We're going to confirm this. I'm going to take, let's see, we get plus 75% here. Is this because of the because of the consecutive bonus or is this because of the war zone i'm not sure why that's there regardless we're going to take one point of damage coverage and then i want to take two points of salvage shares for sure we might take a third that gives us 21 salvage shares that would be enough to theoretically salvage a mech and i kind of want to prioritize that this is still a decent uh, the base payout and hazard pay isn't all that high maybe we should drop the damage coverage and just take sea bills instead i'm thinking we should because we get the sea bills guaranteed the damage coverage we don't get guaranteed so that's what i'm thinking right Heavy now weather warning is in effect commander your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there oh i'm sure so this is our lance that we've got right now. We appear to only be able to drop one lance in this game, which is slightly unfortunate. I generally prefer when we have the ability to drop up to a company, but it's only one lance and that's fine. I mean, that's the way that the base Battletech game worked too. Rogue Tech kind of switched that up a wee bit, but maybe mods do with this game too. I know there's some similar sorts of mods, but with MechWarrior 5 clans already out yesterday, as of the recording and going live of this video i don't know if we'll dip into that we'll see what mech warrior 5 clans is like that might immediately follow this but as of right now i'm seeing reports that it's a little rough around the edges maybe not necessarily as finished as we'd like so this will buy us some time at least so we could actually deploy 10 additional tons here that's interesting i'm wondering if this cap is contract applied or if this is to do with our leopard in some way i'm guessing it's contract applied at any rate let's go ahead and launch this so we're going to be doing two missions here and that should be reasonably fine So this, this Centurion really wants to wade into like medium range, but it doesn't really have the armor to do that. And I don't like the LRMs in the loadout either. I do want to make some changes to it, for sure. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, so it is a little dark. Commander, the good news is that we can rack up a big salvage payout if we're able to maintain our position. But remember, you have to be alive to spend it. Come back safe. Locust just careening into us there. Okay, so we're heading out over this direction. And yeah, a big salvage payout would definitely be good. So this is with night vision on and this is with night vision off. For this mission, we'll probably run with night vision on. YouTube does not do well with dark video, so we'll probably have that on for this one. So we're reaching checkpoint alpha up over here. Now we may toggle it here and there if, like, if we get additional light coverage. Right now, it's still quite dark. No doubt about that. Although Commander, this area is a little you've overlit. You've got the Ops attention. They are converging on your position. Brace for hostile contact. Okay, so there's eight of them. Cool. But we don't know where yet. They haven't. Oh, there we go. Target acquired. That is an SRM carrier. I absolutely want to eliminate that SRM carrier very, very early on. New However, that's commander. a Com One B there. We'll just go ahead and do a little bit of damage to soften that guy up a bit. He can't take very many more of those salvos. Cool. He is taking extraordinarily heavy damage right now. Yeah, it's a little overlit with the night vision. Unavailable for this mission, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm not trying to get. I, I was trying to go into heat vision, but that doesn't appear to be the key binding for this one. 
Okay, so that SRM carrier, I absolutely want to eliminate before it can light us up. Hostiles inbound. Brace for contact, Commander. Cool. So there's still a few more. New target, Shadowhawk. Where? Oh, it's out over here? Target okay. acquired. Where are you at? Keeps dropping off of the sensors. Shared target identified. Okay, so this is definitely a little bit bigger of an enemy. No doubt about that. But we're lighting him up. Ow. Very rude. Okay, let's get moving out over this way. He is heavily outnumbered here, so this is not going to go very well for him. That's his arm gone. Excellent. He's going to cover over here. Let's move in and get a melee in there. Nice. Where'd he go? There he is. Straight into that weak torso. Oh, he's trying to melee us now. Very rude. Well, that was straight into his exposed arm. We could try to eliminate that arm, and that might be it gone, almost. There we go. Recon reports additional Ex forces entering the engagement area, Commander. Be on the lookout for them. Target okay, so one. that's a Vindy out there, Vindicator. That PPC is going to be a little bit awkward, for sure. I kind of want to take cover over here while he approaches. New target, Vindicator. Yeah, there he is. Can we safely fire our LRMs here? Kind of. Contact, hostiles near. Okay, Kill he misses confirmed. his PPC there. We're just working on softening him up while he's at range right now. On the commander's target. Get in there. He missed that PPC a number of times. Any presence in the vicinity. Be on the lookout for further hostiles. Okay. That was a successful PPC hit there. Okay, we're having a hard time firing through the building. I see another mech coming in from behind us. Okay, there's multiple mechs inbound. Scrub one. What is this guy? That's a cicada? Finish him, quick. Cicadas are lightly armored, and we can probably take this guy out very, very quickly with these AC-10 hits. There's another light mech in our back line right now, and that is concerning. And this is the PPC variant of Cicada as well. Okay. It's continuing to pummel this guy's CT. There we go. And that's a locust. Okay. Locusts are not a particularly big deal. I was hoping Animal that that AC... Detected. Oof. Okay. This guy's a bit of a problem. Enemy oh, mech heavily damaged. Let's finish them off. Yeah, good. He is legged now. We have taken some damage. No doubt about that. Okay, so that's seven enemies. Unfortunately, we lost our arm there because our torso got taken out by that locust. So that means that our LRM is gone. Understood. Okay, and that's just a harasser. So that I'd love to take out with Roger. LRM. I'm going to order our light mechs to go in and engage that. And we're just going to kind of hang back for right now. It's an LRM platform, and I don't really want to expose ourselves to that fire. Our light mechs are still fairly well armored. They've apparently focused their fire heavily on us. So that seems relatively fine. So off go the light mechs, and we're just going to chill here for right now. So just going to keep that harasser missile platform in sensor, Great and work, there we Commander. go. We have satisfied our contract and have a narrow window to evac if you're ready. Yes, I am ready. We are going to evac. So let's get out of here. 
I'm going to not want to destroy en more enemy forces since we've taken a significant amount of damage. Like I said, the Centurion really isn't up armored enough to get into the brawling situations like that, like I would want it to be. That would really be more of the role of something like a hunchback or something. Focus okay, take out received, these VTOLs. Boom, dead. Nicely done. And we're just evacing. Let's get out of here. So the real question is, are we able at this point to get repairs done before the next mission? Victory is ours, Commander. Prepare for evac. Because if not, we're going to have to be very careful on that next mission. That's going to be spicy. We'll see how that goes. That was a quick mission, though. No doubt about that. Okay, so we almost made rep level 4. We could definitely get the Shadowhawk here or the Vindicator. And I would choose the Shadowhawk here, given my druthers. Let's take an LRM-10 to replace the one that we lost. And an SB medium laser is not too bad. That's a short burst. And what else are we interested in here? Well, we don't have any level 1 machine guns, or tier 1 machine guns, I guess. And this would be like a tier 1 medium laser. Sure. So that looks good. We'll get that done. So, we took a lot of damage, no doubt about that, but we still made a profit out of it. That's not too bad. We've completed one out of two missions. Okay, so it is immediately dropping us. That's good to know. Okay, I guess we're going. So we're going to have to play this pretty cautiously. No doubt about that. Our Centurion took hefty damage. This is a surgical strike, Commander. Our client wants us to take out a number of structures within this vicinity. Scout the points marked on your map and identify the specific buildings our client wants destroyed, then take them out. Okay, so good to know that these are, in fact, consecutive deployments without repair between. So now that we know that, we can make more informed decisions a little later on. We're going to have to play this quite cautiously. Our Centurion is not in the best of shape right now, that's for sure. And then the question is, do we share salvage points between the two? That's an interesting question too, actually, because we just used every salvage point that we had on that first mission, and I'm not sure if that's what we wanted to do or not. It would almost be more interesting if we were supposed to save salvage points for the second mission, but I don't know if that's the case or not. So we're going to hang back and try not to take damage. This is probably going to be a relatively straightforward mission since it is intended that you're going to be damaged coming into this. But we'll see what that feels like. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Moving in to investigate. Okay, we haven't detected them yet. But we'll send our light mechs to do any significant fighting. And we're just probably going to sit back and fire with the AC-10, most likely. Or the lasers. One of those. Okay, we need to lead that a lot more. Okay. Target destroyed. Yeah! These are relatively low threat vehicles. So that seems fine. Target destroyed. Cool. So that wasn't too bad. What else do they have, though? That's the question. So, and what targets are at these locations, also? I'm noting this base here, which is not one of our target locations. There may be salvage here. This looks like an artillery emplacement. We could take that out. Enemy destroyed. Oh, there was an enemy. Okay, I didn't even know that. This is quite a beefy artillery emplacement. There we go. Cool. So I want to hop in here and see if there's any salvage. I doubt there's any repair facilities. That would be very convenient if there was. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Uh, what are we taking fire from? Our ally. Okay. There is... Oh, a turret got there. It. Okay. I didn't realize there was a turret there. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Cool. So there was salvage here. What was it? Cargo acquired. 
three heat sinks. Okay. Well, sure. <laughs> 12,000 sea bills is not bad either. Okay, so that is a turret out over there. Oh, interesting. There is some drop to the autocannon blast as well. Noted. There we go. Destroyed. Cool. So that's good to know. Hello. He never showed up on sensors. I wonder if our sensors are somewhat broken. That is a possibility. So Target we need to destroy acquired. fuel silos, Target huh? neutralized. There we go. One target down. Focus target updated. That is a turret X4 small laser. Oh, New hang on. Urban That's an urban target acknowledged. Okay. Target destroyed. That's a second Irby. Shared target identified. We're out of range right now, and we want to sit back and just do this. We're too damaged. Target acquired. There's actually a turret here. We'll take target that out. Destroyed. And let's take out this satellite uplink. Cool. Target Beetles. acquired. Ooh, that was close. But we didn't quite take that out. Okay. I want to be in position to be firing on these urban mechs, although we are out of range for the laser. That is absolutely understood. But we're doing what damage we can. We have to sit back Target here. Acquired. Okay. That is a VTOL warrior up there. Noted. We're definitely out of range for these as well. We're just kind of pot shot. Okay. So there's an Irby gun. Fantastic. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Okay. Still working on taking out this satellite uplink. It's almost gone, I think. Meanwhile, our Lance is doing the actual combat here. But there we go. There's that VTOL gone. Good work, Commander. Cool. That's one less target. There's still Enemy an ship. urban mech Landing out over your here. Location. Okay. That's the last of the targets, Commander. Now get back here before hostiles converge on your position. Oh, are we returning back to the pickup zone? That's a ways away. I'm not sure where the uh, evac down. point is. But there's those Irby's gone. Target acquired. Excellent. Target destroyed. Okay, where is the evac zone? It is up over here, 1,300 meters away. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's get out of here. Do not want to risk further damage. I'm a little surprised how little damage our lance mates took from those Irbies. The Irbies must have had very poor shots. That's all I have to say. Were those AC-10 or AC-20 variants? I did not even look. New target Hello, assassin. that's an assassin. Lance target engaged. I would really Incoming rather easy. not be tanking this right now. And there goes the leg. Okay. Well, we're limping now. Lance, please, get in here. I did not expect to run into an assassin at this point. That's for sure. Let's take this guy down. We kind of need to just go, to be honest. So we're going to head up this way. We're going to be capped at a low rate of speed, and that assassin should go down to our lance fairly soon. Tango eliminated. There we go. And we just need to get up here. So the assassin and the urban mechs are potentially good salvage for us. We'll see what that ends up looking like. I'm wondering if we can get any simultaneous repair in this game like we could in Rogue Tech. I don't think that's a thing in base game Battle Tech, but... We'll find out. Maybe it's a thing in this game. I kind of doubt it, to be honest. So our Centurion took a fair amount of damage, and that's not surprising at all. I mostly just wanted to see what we were getting into with this type of mission, and now we know. So that is excellent. Honestly, we didn't even lose all that much well on the done, Centurion. Commander. Stand by for pickup. Okay, let's get out of here.
So repairs are definitely going to be a hefty thing. But we got reputation rank 4, so that's good. So we're now established. And we did get three single heat sinks out of that, yeah. But we can take this assassin. We're definitely interested in that. I know that the salvage did refresh. So that's good to know. We could take level 1 AC2s. I'm going to take an LRM ammo. I think we might have lost one in that leg. And level 1 small lasers may as well. And then beyond that, what are we interested in? We don't have any SRM ammo, so I guess we could take that. Cool. Okay. So we got some skill up here, and we did take a fair amount of damage, but our payout definitely covers that. So honestly, I think we're probably going to take C-Bills over damage coverage, generally speaking. I think that's probably the way that that's going to work. However, we need to get some repairs going here, desperately. So I'm going to just repair all of these guys, but the CN9A is going to need to be... We can actually just auto-repair this. Interesting. We could just repair all, apparently. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and do that. That's going to take some time. No doubt about that. So let's hop into our timeline here and see what the order on this is going to be. Can we change the priority here? Hmm. I don't know about that. Also, I'm wondering about this upgrades here. Okay. Interesting. Upgrade slots. We don't have any upgrades, so I guess we don't really know how to work with that just yet. So that is fine. We're going to get all of these repaired eventually, but for now what we need to do is we need to view our transmission because we have increased our reputation to rank 4. Great work, kid. I've been monitoring, monitoring your progress with the MRB, and I think you've done enough to prove to the naysayers that the heir to Nick Mason's mantle has got what it takes. So here's the deal. Comstar does good work overseeing the MRB in their license contracts. It ensures that us mercs still get paid what we signed up for, even if a client is unhappy and it keeps mercs from bailing on their clients without severe penalties. Since no one wants to feel the wrath of Comstar. No kidding. But the fees that Comstar charges for their MRB services are just downright criminal. It ends up pricing out many folks who could use our talents from hiring us out for smaller jobs, where we can be of service. Thing is, there's nothing out there that says mercs can't take non-licensed jobs from anyone. In fact, smaller outfits like our own often take on these smaller contracts on the side to help us float by. If you're looking to take on some more small-scale work, you'll need to touch bases with a fixer. They scout clients and then hook them up with mercs they feel are able to get them what they need, typically, typically by setting up a meet in a regional cantina. If they hear that you're operating in their area of space, they'll reach out and make their locations known to you on the star map. I've already put the word out there about you, kid, so Rihanna might be seeing some leads contacting her for a meet. Get them what they need, and sometimes they'll even provide you with some upgrade blueprints that your mechs can use to further augment your mechs. Your techs can use to further augment your mechs. If you work hard and build up a rep for certain types of jobs, you'll find even more opportunities for lucrative assignments. Hell, you might be even offered up some rare tech if a fixer needs something done badly enough. Rest is up to you, kid. Give them hell. Fixers are now offering jobs in cantinas. Okay. So we still need to expand our company and take contracts. That's interesting. We need to increase our reputation up to five now. So we've unlocked fixers in cantinas. If we look at the star map, we can probably see, yeah, there's a cantina available in Pascagoula right now. There's also one available up in Pajarito, though. And the interesting thing about that is Pajarito is an industrial hub. So we'll be able to re repair more quickly there, but I'm not, I'm not clear if that uh, is applied on the tick or if that is applied when you start the repairs. So that's a little interesting, for sure. I think for now we're going to go to maybe Pascagoula. How long is our timeline looking to be here? 59 days on the Shadowhawk, but we've got 38 on the Centurion. I would like to be able to reorder these, though, and move the Centurion up to be, like, top priority. How would we go about doing that? Presumably, there's a way to do this. I would expect that this would be in the timeline here. But this does not seem to be interactive in any way. 
right click and drag is apparently a thing. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't appear to be interactive. I'm wondering we can't cancel these repairs either. Okay. I'm guessing this applies when we start the repairs, is what I'm thinking right now. Okay. Well, for the moment, we're going to need to spend a few days doing repairs, any way we slice it, right? So let's hop over to the star map, and I'm thinking that we go over to Pajarito, because it takes us 20 days to get there, and let's go check out the cantina here. So we're going to head on over. That will take 20 days. That gets the Locust and the Jenner finished up. Beautiful. We have a lot more mech repair work to do, but let's just hop out over here. And we'll get to work on that. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to check out this cantina and see what we've got going on there. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Hiro Marutsu, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.